Mechanical keyboards normally tick a couple of boxes when it comes to features. It's normally the usual cheap, uh, good build quality and feature rich and you can kind of pick two of those. But this one, the, the Keychron 2, breaks the mold in a very stylish way. Let me run you through what this tiny keyboard has to offer. First off, it's mechanical. Now it doesn't use genuine cherry switches, but it uses one of the more reputable clones, Gatorons, and comes in a variety of key switch types. I have browns here because those are my personal preference, and they actually sound fantastic. Of course, gaming on it is pretty great. As with all keyboards, you don't really get a significant competitive advantage for having a slightly nicer keyboard, but it is still a very enjoyable experience that I had no problems with and overall pretty nice feel. Same goes for typing too, with a very satisfying overall typing experience and pretty comfortable overall too as well. Next, it's a tiny board, but done really well. It still has page up, page down, home, and delete, and print screen keys, and full size arrow keys and even an F key row at the top that's matched with a load of different functionality whether that's media controls or RGB lighting because of course it has perky RGB lighting with a load of different modes and my only real qualm or my only real issue with the uh, layout of the keyboard is really just that it's a non ISO design and so as a Brit it's not the, the style that I'm used to but honestly I'd probably get used to it just because of how nice an experience it is overall to use. Carrying on with the functionality tour it's also wireless using Bluetooth or you can use the USB-C cable and port on the side of it if you prefer. Now that cable is actually rather nicely designed since the USB-C port is inset into the keyboard a bit and the cable has a sort of lip around it so that if you ever had any strain on the cable it'd be the actual plastic shielding that would take any of the strain rather than the port. With that said, when you're using it wirelessly, you can use the number keys to change between devices. As I said, it pairs with Bluetooth and is actually a pretty nice experience. It also has a 4000 mAh battery inside, meaning that at the very least it feels like it lasts forever on a single charge. Moving on, build quality is something that you might think could be lacking here considering how many features it has already. but you'd be wrong, it is absolutely, like it's built like a tank. It has zero deck flex, like literally none at all. Uh, it's pretty heavy, which can be a little bit of an issue if you say wanted to travel with it, but honestly, it's not too bad. And overall, it is a very nice quality. The keycaps are a nice feel to them. They are a standard cherry keycaps, so you could replace them all if you wanted to. And you also do get Mac options as well if you want to use it with Mac or iOS. And of course, Windows keys if you want to switch those out as well. So you've heard how brilliant the keyboard is in basically every aspect. And so you're probably thinking this has to cost a fortune, right? I mean, it's made by a small indie company that got their funding from Kickstarter. And generally speaking, like I said, it's built like a tank, it's got lots of features and is actually just a very well design board, so it must cost a few hundred dollars at least, right? Well, if you go without the RGB lighting and just go with white lighting, it costs just $69. Nice. If you go with the RGB lighting, that only adds $10 to your price at $79, and you could even go with an aluminium frame rather than a plastic one for $89, which honestly, it's absolutely insane. So if I haven't made it clear already, this thing gets a massive thumbs up from me. Seriously, if you consider the competition, even people like Corsair at this sort of price point are not even offering mechanical on some keyboards at this sort of price point, let alone wireless, perky RGB lighting, and just generally being a very good build quality. So I really cannot recommend this enough. If you're looking for a small keyboard, a wireless mechanical keyboard, or really any keyboard, definitely take a look at this thing because it's absolutely insane. Would I put one on my desk? Well, I'm not the, the small keyboard kind of guy. I, I'm happy with my full size Coolmaster Master Keys Pro L, but it actually is kind of good enough that I would consider swapping over in theory anyway. Um, so I'll put that as a maybe, but it definitely gets a top tier award because man, this thing is good. Now with all of that said, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of the Keychron 2? Would you pick up one like this? Do you like the, the tiny kind of tankula style keyboards or do you prefer bigger sizes? Do you prefer different features? Anything at all, let me know in those comments down below. Of course, if you want to see more videos like this one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, do take a look at that subscribe button with the bell notification icon to be notified of those new 
made videos and actually even if you are already subscribed just double check that bell for me because apparently some people have had it turned off. Otherwise if you want to check out the keyboard I'll leave a link to their website in the description down below and if you want to support the channel there is a load of other links down there too. The stuff like Amazon and Overclock GK affiliate links which don't cost you anything to use but massively help me out when you do use them. There's also merch for hoodies or t-shirts, not like this one for once, uh, but there are a load of cool designs including some really awesome ones that are coming out shortly so do take a look at those. And there's also stuff like private internet access which is a great and cheap VPN or Humble Bundle for cheap games support charities too. Otherwise you can check out some other videos over there. If you've got any questions leave those in the comments down below and we'll see you all in the next video.